Art is for everyone, and the only limit is your own imagination. This especially goes for exoplanet art. We can't see these faraway planets in great detail. So we have to use our imagination when considering what they might look like. The authors of the book Exoplanets explain that there are a lot of exoplanets and there is no wrong way to imagine what they may be like. The astronomy community is discovering planets outside of our solar system at the rate of about one per day. And if you use that rate and see how planets are around our nearby stars, we suspect that there are more planets in the observable universe than the combined number of heartbeats of all the people that have ever lived on Earth. We figure that if, if you can imagine any exoplanet, provided it doesn't violate some law of physics, it probably exists somewhere. You can create your own exoplanet art using some simple materials. Start with a poster board and just a few colors of spray paint. First, put down the colors of your primary planet, usually two or three colors, and think about shadows and where the light is coming from. After layering your spray paint, take a plastic bag and lay it over and pull it up. This creates the planet look. Now cover your planet and paint your sky black. Next, flick white paint over the painting to represent stars. Use a straight edge to spray straight lines. Uncover your planet and voila, an exoplanet. You can always learn additional techniques like comets, foregrounds, and rings. Exoplanets are not the only inspiration for space art. The Juno mission to Jupiter has inspired some amazing pieces. Scott Bolton, the principal investigator, discusses how science influences art and how art influences science. And I really believe there's an intersection of art and science which is very important to us all in almost all fields. And here you see a lot of the images, and this is one of them, where somebody posts something that they're inspired in some artistic fashion. There's science in this too. They're taking the swirls and they're showing you in a new way. And, if, and, and, there, and that is exactly how science works too, is I look at a picture from a different way and I all of a sudden see some feature that I wouldn't have otherwise recognized. That's the idea of the original stretch of colors. Mm -hmm. This is more extreme. I'm not sure scientists would do what a lot of the amateurs are doing, but they are gonna start now because we're learning so much right. from it. But it's also just a beautiful picture. No matter what your medium or your inspiration, you too can be an exoplanet artist. Paint, pencils, Photoshop, or even pancake batter can be the way that you share your imagination with the world. What far out places will you dream up? What art will you make? And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow STEM and 30 on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to the National Air and Space Museum's YouTube channel.